A ton of hard work and cooperation goes into keeping WWE's production techniques a secret. But with five hours of TV a week, even WWE's well-oiled machine occasionally makes mistakes and gives us a glimpse behind the curtain at things fans aren't supposed to see. So in this video, we're looking at 10 WWE secrets that were uncovered on live TV. Number 10. Blood Capsules WWE doesn't like blood on their programming. In the PG age, bleeding is completely prohibited on weekly television outside of genuine accidents. Things are a little more lenient on pay-per-views or premium live events because WWE are less beholden to advertisers, but they still keep blood to an absolute minimum unless they really need to add some drama to an ongoing rivalry. One such occasion was the feud between Roman Reigns and Triple H in 2016, which saw them face off in the main event of WrestleMania 32. In the build-up to the match, Roman Reigns got the proverbial color, but rather than using the standard blading technique, WWE decided to use a blood capsule instead. It was understandable since it was a lot safer and the effects were the same, but WWE botched the moment by showing commentator Byron Saxton handing the capsule to Reigns as he lay across the announcer's table. It was a smart move having an announcer load the capsule into Reigns' hand, but it turns out that the only thing worse than Saxton's commentary are his sleight of hand skills. Number 9. The Buried Alive Escape the Undertaker and stipulation matches go hand in hand, but the rarest and most unique Undertaker-centric gimmick is the Buried Alive match. There have only ever been five Buried Alive matches in almost 30 years, all of which involved the dead man, and all of which were gloriously brutal. The rules were simple in that to win the match, you had to put your opponent in a grave and bury them with soil. In the match between The Undertaker and Vince McMahon at Survivor Series 2003, viewers caught a glimpse of something that they shouldn't have. When The Undertaker was in the grave, a camera shot caught Undertaker digging up the soil at the bottom where he would later slip inside a trap door as the soil fell on him. The buried opponent would then wait until the arena was completely empty so they could slip out again. It beats being actually buried alive, but it's still claustrophobic as hell. Number 8. Tucker's Script We know that everything in WWE, at least during the days that Vince was running creative, was scripted to obsessive levels. Every word of every promo was written on paper for the wrestlers to memorize, and as it turned out, some wrestlers had a better memory than others. Tucker, then, clearly had the memory of a goldfish because he actually brought his promo script to the promo itself. At Hell in a Cell 2020, during a backstage interview with The Miz and John Morrison, Tucker arrived holding something that suspiciously looked like a note. When Tucker realized he was still holding it while the cameras were on him, he discreetly dropped it on the floor, but we all saw it. Apparently, Vince McMahon was furious at the little blunder, and coincidentally, Tucker was banished to the bottom of the card before being released in 2021. Number 7, Hell in a Cell Crash Pads. During the match between Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre at Hell in a Cell 2021, we saw something that Mick Foley would have never allowed inside a cell match, let alone bumped off of a crash pad. Lashley and McIntyre tried to give off the illusion that McIntyre had been chokeslammed off the apron through a table, but the camera didn't fully catch McIntyre's landing for good reason. While McIntyre was lying on the floor, cameras picked up a mysterious hand reaching from under the ring, planting pieces of wood to give the impression that McIntyre had taken the table bump, when the hand pulled the crash pad out of sight. This was during the Thunderdome era, when WWE could be a little more careful with risky bumps, but even so, it didn't take an eagle eye to catch this one. Number 6. John Cena's Blade Everyone knows what blading is. We know exactly how it's done and why it's done, but have you ever actually seen a blade on WWE television? For decades, WWE have done a fantastic job of hiding not just the moment wrestlers have bladed, but hiding the actual instruments of mutilation too. During a match with Randy Orton at Hell in a Cell 2009, after taking a bump to the mat, John Cena dropped his blade in full view of the cameras. 
A close-up of Cena on the mat showed the blade right next to his face, but the referee was quick to slide it out of the ring. Cena is nothing but a stern professional, so of all the wrestlers to expose a major wrestling secret, we never expected it from Big Match John. Number 5. Throwing Up The X this wrestling secret is literal lifesaver. Whenever a superstar is legitimately injured or can't compete, the referee will make an X with their arms, signaling to doctors at ringside that urgent medical help is required. There wasn't a single instance of this gesture that exposed the secret, but it's something that fans have pieced together over the years. The X sign is rarely used in WWE because severe injuries are quite rare, but when a referee throws up the X, it means something serious has happened. According to Arn Anderson, the X sign is sacred and will never be used as part of an angle for cheap heat. Number 4. Michael Cole We've talked about him giving away the ending of WrestleMania 15 before. Most wrestling fans have heard the leaked audio footage of him talking to Vince in the headset and calling him Sir. But the most embarrassing Cole moment came at WrestleMania 32 in a Hell in a Cell match between Shane McMahon and The Undertaker. In one of the most replayed moments of the show, Shane leaped off the top of the cell, missing The Undertaker and going through the announcer's table. It was a classic Shane McMahon move, but viewers at home were taken out of the action because as Shane lay crumpled on the floor, you could literally see Michael Cole reading lines from a script beside him. What should have been an incredible moment is now remembered for all of the wrong reasons. Number 3. Crouching Interviewers it's always difficult to make someone look bigger without the use of lifts or platform shoes, but Vince McMahon realized that you can achieve the same result by just making other people look shorter. This little technique was hilariously exposed during an interview segment between the Mysterios and Austin Theory in 2021. In a close-up shot, interviewer Kevin Patrick looked perfectly normal, but when the camera panned out, it showed that Kevin Patrick was slightly crouching down to make Austin Theory look taller. It was a typical corny WWE move, but apparently tiny wrestlers are one of Vince McMahon's pet peeves. Thankfully, this outdated belief has been left behind since Triple H took charge, and now interviewers don't have to stand like crabs during backstage segments. Number 2. The Welfare Tap there wasn't really a single moment that exposed this secret, and if you know where to look, you can spot this in around 50% of modern matches. After a big spot, either the referee or one of the wrestlers will clutch the hand of the person who took the brunt of the impact. If the wrestler squeezes their hand back, it's a sign that they're okay. Veteran wrestlers usually take this a step further, and instead of waiting for the welfare handshake, they'll discreetly tap their opponent to signal that the spot went off without a hitch. Despite these taps being somewhat of a necessity, Chris Jericho is the worst offender for doing them so brazenly and has come under fire for being too obvious with his so-called love taps. Number 1. Eyes on the Referee We'll warn you in advance, once you notice this one, you can never unsee it. Right, so if you want to know whether a wrestler is kicking out of a pinfall attempt or not, just look at their eyes. If the wrestler taking the pin is looking at the ref, they're watching for the two count so they can kick out just in time. Given the noise in the arena, it's not always reliable to listen for a count on the mat, so wrestlers watch the referee's hand instead. Likewise, if a performer shuts their eyes, expect an incoming three count. Of course, not every single wrestler in the world does this, but even the likes of John Cena, Randy Orton, and Roman Reigns are guilty of it. Some veterans are completely against it, even though it's been a common wrestling technique for generations. That concludes our list of 10 WWE secrets uncovered on live TV. What other behind-the-scenes secrets have you noticed? Let us know in the comments below.